Don't Be Fooled by the um, cute thumbnail. I did not like this book. <laughs> Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and this is my dedicated reading vlog and review for Heartless by Cat Martin. So if you did not know, I have a challenge for myself every single month of the year to where I pick a book out of my TBR jar that has all the books I have not read yet that are on my TBR card over there. And then whatever book I pull out of there, I have to read and do a dedicated reading vlog for. So I ended up picking up this historical romance by Cat Martin called Heartless. I've never read a Cat Martin before, so I'm really excited. I own quite a few of hers because her covers are beautiful. Like, look at this. Isn't this just stunning? So let's start off with the summary over here. To escape her life of poverty as a tenant farmer's daughter, Ariel Summers made a bargain with the devil. She would become the Earl of Greyville's mistress in exchange for the schooling and refinements of a lady. But she couldn't foresee the Earl's untimely death or her own disturbing attraction to his bastard son, and heir, Justin Ross. Justin never meant to demand payment from the tempting young woman his father had so callously planned to ruin, but her innocent allure provoked his ruthless nature and he vowed he would have her in his bed. Seduction was his plan, but the Earl of Greyville never suspected Ariel's innocent passion would awaken emotions he had long believed dead. When mistrust and betrayal threaten the fragile happiness the two of them have found, Justin must convince Ariel he isn't the heartless man she believes. Okay, so, Feels like a man reluctant to love falls for his dad's planned ruination of a woman, I guess. I don't really, I thought that maybe she married his dad, but I guess not, maybe. So she becomes the mistress to this man's dad. The dad planned on ruining her, but I guess the son then becomes the Earl it doesn't want to ruin her and then falls for her even though he doesn't want to. That's what I assume. I'm gonna go see if the audiobook is available on my library or through Audible or something um, just so I can fly through it faster. But if not, I will totally be physically reading this and like I just can't wait to dive in. I haven't read a historical in a little bit so I am super excited for this and I'm just captivated by this cover y'all. Like look at her hair. Like that's just gorgeous. I love this. <laughs> So let me go dive into this one. Okay, so I ended up getting to chapter five. I finished chapter five last night and I have thoughts about this. So basically, if you couldn't tell by the summary, this basically this girl, the book starts out with her being, I think 14 and um, she lives with her father and they run a farm together and they're, um, I forget the term for it, but the guy who like runs their whole land, um, big wealthy dude, um, he's like 50 something and he's notoriously known for liking younger women our heroine finds this out knows this and so one day when her father's gone and this guy comes to visit to like check the land and everything she tells him she's like i want to strike up a bargain with you i want you to send me to school to learn how to become a lady and in return whenever i come of age i will be your mistress and he's like okay <laughs> and so um and so then the book like jumps to a couple years later and that guy i think he's a duke i don't remember but he dies and um before he dies he's able to adopt his bastard son who um he does not like he knows that his bastard son does not like him but he needs an heir and so that's his only option so he adopts him and so he tells him before he dies that there's this young woman i've been paying for her schooling um we have a bargain his son his name's justin justin is like okay cool yeah, and so um, our heroine throughout her like schooling has been writing letters to this guy to tell him how like great she's doing in school and everything and Justin like reads all of the letters and he starts to slowly like become like intrigued and kind of like captivated by this young woman through like reading her letters and everything. And so then now I believe she's 19 and um, she's done with school and um, she goes to London uh, to like fulfill the rest of her bargain basically and she finds out that the the guy that she made the bargain with is dead and um his son is filling his place and so far i have a few issues <laughs> um hopefully they get like fixed or addressed because in all honesty if i wasn't reading this book for this video i'd probably dnf it by now trigger warning for abuse from her father when she was little just by the way there's trigger there's a uh, trigger warning for that there's this consent issue with like the hero <laughs> which okay so basically this is like in like the second or third chapter so like i don't think it's a spoiler but if you don't want it to hear about it just like wait until i put the book down okay i'm gonna keep the book up in my hand until um i stop talking about 
the little thing that happens in like chapter three. So basically our hero um, walks in on our heroine like kissing another guy kind of or the the guy okay so basically when she comes to London she like goes and walks in the park um and she meets this guy and she finds him very attractive really likes him and the guy kind of like invites himself over for tea and they're like alone in this room together and like he kind of like forces a kiss upon her and then Justin walks in and this is the first time they're meeting each other and um Justin walks in and he's like what the heck and he basically thinks that she's been with a bunch of men and is just like basically the w word <laughs> uh ooh. he forces the other guy to leave the other guy runs away and the heroine is like petrified of justin because he's gotten really angry because he thinks he's like had expectations for what this girl is gonna be um when he like meets her and first time he meets her she's kissing some other guy and he does not like that and so He's like, well, you might as well come fulfill our bargain right now. Let's go. Like over the second that they meet. And he takes her to his bedroom and he's like forcing her to take all of her clothes off. And she's like crying and is like, um, I'm a virgin. That was my first kiss. And he does not believe her. And like, he's like telling her to take all of her clothes off. And she's like sobbing. And he just, he, he didn't apologize afterward after he realizes oh wait she might not be uh some the, the woman i thought she was and she's actually might be innocent and like he didn't apologize for it doesn't think he was in the wrong for it um which i had an issue with <laughs> i had an issue with the thing happening in general but like it made it even worse that he didn't even apologize or like realize he did something wrong so yeah that like rubbed me the wrong way <laughs> um and like just the whole aspect of there being another guy in the picture like I'm not a fan of and also our hero so far in the book like went to like a woman's club and like dude if I don't want to read a romance about a guy going to be with other women I don't want to read about our heroine liking another guy instead of the hero but right now both the dudes in this situation are not like good in my eye right now one of them I know is a skeevy dude who like basically tried to force her to kiss him and like we know from his past that he's really skeevy she doesn't know that though and then our hero in here just did that whole scene that i am not okay with <laughs> so like if i wasn't reading this for this video i probably would dnf it by now in all honesty um so yeah hopefully some things get cleared up this book was written in 2001 just fyi and i know that older historicals aren't really sensitive to consent or like don't put consent as a higher value than like we do nowadays especially in historicals like and so i i honestly highly doubt that they're gonna like that the author is going to address that again and like tell or like have the hero apologize for doing that i don't know we'll see maybe i'm wrong but like this book was written a little bit ago and like in a time or close to a time where like heroes didn't really apologize for doing that. I'm not too sure how I'm gonna feel about the rest of it. This book is like 350 pages, right? 353 pages. I have 300 pages left to go. I'm gonna film for the rest of the, um, a little bit today because I have some filming to do, but then after that, I'm going to be dedicating the rest of my day to getting a chunk of this book just like done with, um, because I kind of want to get it over with at this point, which is sad because like the last book that I read as a TBR Jar pick, was amazing and I don't like to de do dedicated reading vlogs for books that I don't like. Who knows, maybe it'll change. This is only the first 50 pages. So like there's a lot to unpack in the first 50 pages. And so I, I hope things change. Please let them change. Things did not change. <laughs> also, I know I'm having a breakout right now. It is shark week currently. So yes, breakouts are happening. <laughs> Um, so I reached page 100 and I, I went to Instagram last night when I got to page 100 and I posted a story and I was like, I am hating this book. I, I legitimately hate it now. Um, do you still want vlog footage? Do you still want me to do a dedicated reading vlog? Should I just scrap this video? And the majority of people said that they really want to see the video, which okay <laughs> i mean like there are a few people who said that they wouldn't which totally fine you do you you can watch whatever you want to watch but i was kind of surprised that a lot of people wanted to see a dedicated reading vlog where i dnf the book that i'm vlogging about but you know what 
let, let, let's do it. The people want to see what they want to see. <laughs> um, okay, so it got worse. Um, so since last time, I think I ended off with um, talk with talking about how the guy went to like a women's club and I didn't like how the pe they just weren't together. But then also the main guy, both the guys were being ultimate like douche canoes. There's this one scene that literally rubbed me horribly wrong where is it okay so i talked about earlier how our hero is not the one that the heroine likes at the moment she likes this other guy that she met in a park our hero here tells her this dude is like skeevy i had to rescue a woman he was abusing at one point she does not believe him and our hero is having our heroine go and buy new dresses because he wants her to dress in more pro provocative dresses for him to look at her in they're shopping and she sees Philip, the other guy, and she's like looking at him from afar. Philip does not notice her. You see Philip giving his bags to this little black boy, and like that whole scene. Well, first of all, it was like our heroine is like, what is he doing with the little black boy right there? Like, why is he carrying his things? Like, what is going on? Our hero Justin tells her, this is one of Marlin's, that's his last name. Marlon's more recent acquisitions. He keeps the boy around as a conversation piece, rather a pet of sorts. It amuses him to watch people's reaction to the color of the boy's skin and the way he is clothed. And the heroine's like, I don't believe that's true. I don't believe that. You literally see like Philip like shove his things in this little boy's arms. He's literally maybe like eight, eight and him almost fall off the carriage. Dude does not give a crap. And our heroine's like, he would never, that, that's not him. Like, you just, you just saw him do that. You just saw him do that. That was not good. No, 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 no. There's another, like, scene that I did not like where, um, our hero knows that our heroine is very uncomfortable with him in a loon, a room alone. Like he can sense that and like his inner dialogue is like, I can tell she's really nervous and really skittish. So he goes in for a kiss one night and like there's like, she tries to like push him away and he like brings her in more even though she's trying to push him away. And then like finally she like, after a little bit pushes him even more and he finally relents. When that woman pushed you the first time, you should have freaking backed off. Like, I don't, I don't get this. Like, I don't get why our author wrote this. I, I literally hate, I think every single character in this book. Cause our heroine is a naive, just like got blinders on woman that like, I can't stand that kind of woman. Like, <laughs> like, Look at your surroundings. There are context clues for what's going on. Can you like take them into account, please? I did not like this book. And I reached like page, I'm on page like, I didn't even finish the chapter. I was on page 92, didn't even finish the chapter. I closed the book and I was like, I am not having a good time. This is not good. Not good. Not having a good time right now. Like I, I legitimately did not like anybody in this book. I liked the heroine more than the hero, that's for sure. And the hero and the other guy part of the situation, like our, I, I, I would, I knew if I continue with this book, I know I would not like the hero, like no matter what for what he's done so far. And he didn't even like apologize for any of the like things that he was doing that was not consensual for the heroine. There's another scene where like um they get to like an inn to stay there for the night and they have two separate rooms and she goes sh he's like do you want to eat dinner up in your room or do you want to eat dinner down here she says i will go up to my room to eat dinner i'm pretty tired and so he's like okay i'll get the food and i'll come bring it to you and so she's sitting in her room still in her dress because she knows that if she unclothes any kind of article of clothing like he's gonna assume something so he gets up to her room with the food and he's like oh why aren't you undressing i thought you were tired dude she's not undressing in front of you or before you come in the room because you're gonna assume something that she does not want it just this book kind of makes me really mad it makes me mad <laughs> i mean if you want to read about those things go ahead i um i don't recommend it I don't. This makes me really hesitant now to pick up any more Cat Martin books. If you've read any Cat Martin books, please, please let me know which one it was 
only if you liked it and if it was good and there was not the consent stupid issues in here because they made me incredibly angry incredibly angry there are just some gross things in here and horrible things in here the racist like thing in here oh i hated it i hated i hate this i am just mad about this book and i'm really upset that this was my tbr jar pick because i don't like bashing books i don't like bashing authors i don't get joy off of it i don't make book hating videos i don't do that and so this is probably the closest thing you're ever gonna get to me like hate reading a book but i hated it so much to where i'm like why am I wasting my time reading this book just for a video? So that's why I asked y'all if y'all actually wanted to see a video because I knew I was doing nothing it 100%. But it's up to y'all if you wanted to see the footage or not. I don't get joy out of bashing books, again, bashing authors, but this is how I feel. You know, this is how I feel about this book. And I don't purposefully go to make reviews for books I do not like. I think I've only done that two other times and they're both like dedicated reviews and one of them is my most popular video on this channel and I hate it I hate I hate it I hate that video and of course it would be the video to at this point have almost hit 20,000 views and I hate it I hate it with burning passion I get so much hate on it I turned off the comments because I kept getting hate comments on that video and you know what it's it's a video that earns me a lot of money and so I just forget that it exists <laughs> Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. So I get that probably a lot of um, view time, people wanna watch those kinds of videos, um, but I do not enjoy making them. And I don't enjoy looking back on them. If I don't enjoy looking back on one of my videos, it's not good to me, like I don't like it. Anyway, this book, I don't recommend it. If you wanna pick it up, go ahead, let me know your thoughts. Or if you have read this book, please let me know what you think about it, please. None of my friends on Goodreads, I don't think has read this book. Um, or has left a review but this is definitely going in the unhaul pile um, even though the cover is absolutely stunning and I love it I wish the content inside was different so I guess I'm gonna be uploading this footage and sharing it with y'all I hope you enjoy this video <laughs> um yeah again let me know if you've read this all that jazz uh thank y'all so much for watching this very anticlimactic i don't think it's watch worthy i don't know <laughs> video um thank y'all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in a way better and more positive video <laughs> bye y'all mm -hmm.